Oh, now it really looks like Planet of the Apes. It really looks like Planet of the Apes now, man. Yeah. <laughs> Planet of the Apes, original, with Charlton Heston in his, his greatest role ever. And he should have won an Oscar and Academy Award for that, man, because that's the best movie of 68. The best Planet of the Apes movies of all time. This new one, forget it. That's not Planet of the Apes. That's, that's a totally different story. It has nothing to do with the original story. It, where real people were made up as apes. That's more realistic than that digital stuff. A digital, smidgital, CGI, I don't give a hoot about it. The people made up as apes in that blockbuster from 1968, that was not a B-movie. That was not cheesy. That was realistic. And that's more realistic than the stinking CGI crud. Amen, brother. And I'll be not sorry I said that tomorrow morning. And I'll have a toast to Java with something strong. I may have a shot of whiskey in here. Yeah, I'm going to party tonight on what I said. I feel good about what I said, brother, even if it offends. Go, go, go. Ah. If CGI is wrecking movies today, they think, oh, how, many, how much did you spend on CGI on the budget? So what? Who gives a flying F? You know, the main thing is, what, was it a good story? Was it entertaining? Do you have real actors doing real lines, real people? Come on. Amen, brother. They throw in stupid CGI fake images in front of the screen. They worked their butt off making up all those guys as apes in 68, and it was great makeup. And the screenplay was by Rod Serling, who did Twilight Zone. Any of you young punks know who Rod Serling is? If you don't, you better wake up and smell the coffee, smell the java, and start educating yourself. Do you know who Boris Karloff is, you young, you young whippersnappers there in college? You think you're a film students? Do you know anything about Boris Karloff? Do you know what his original name was? William Henry Pratt. And I could go on and on about my favorite actor, Boris Karloff, and about Bela Lugosi, another favorite. And Lon Chaney Jr. and Lon Chaney Sr. Do you know who they were? Don't forget, these were the great actors of our past. Boris Karloff is an icon. One of the greatest actors of all time. And Charlton Heston was the best tailor in Planet of the Apes. That's right, he was the, he was the be, that was his best acting ever. And then he was great in Moses, and he was great in uh, The Robe and other movies like that. Okay, cut that's perfect. You guys better, you know, Roger Corman is the greatest filmmaker of all time, one of the greatest. Roger Corman, the greatest, I'd say, sci-fi filmmaker. He did more for sci-fi than any filmmaker I know about. It was way before Spielberg. And this is when they used real special effects, not CGI digital smidgel. You guys think you're better just because you got some digital camera? Forget it. These guys worked hard on making their movies, and they used real... Low budget special effects, they didn't rely on a computer to make a movie. You don't need a computer to make a movie. Just get a video camera, put a blank tape in there, and get your friends together, and go to a forest preserve, an abandoned cemetery, your backyard, your basement, your friend's basement, and film the dang thing. Amen, brother. Now, that's good job.